call one, practice paper one, question number nine. Now this is the whole of question number nine as it appears on the exam paper. If the function, graph of the function fx passes through that point and f dash, in other words the function differentiated because that's what f dash means, is this as long as x is greater than 0, find the value of fx. So, if this is f dash of x, in other words, the original uh, function differentiated, to get the original function, I need to integrate this. I need to get this back to where it was. I need to integrate it. But before we can do that, we need to simplify, manipulate, make it integratable. So you need to know this bit of manipulation. If you've got something plus something over, you can actually split this into that over the root of x plus that over the root of x. So that's the first thing. Let's not lose that minus 2 at the end there. The next thing you need to appreciate is that when you find the square root, that's the same as raising to the power of half. So we need to appreciate that it can be written like that. I must admit you can go straight from there to there. But you've still got to tidy this up a bit. If you write that as an inverse, reciprocal, sorry, reciprocal, and you need to appreciate that's the same as 3x to the power minus a half. And you need to appreciate that this will simplify down to 5x to the power 3 over 2. There's several ways to sort that out. One way is to say you're doing x squared divided by x to the power of half, and when you divide x squared divided by x to the power of half, you subtract the indices. So a 2 take away a half is 1 and a half. 1 and a half can be written as 3 over 2. As I say, there's several ways you could simplify that. This is just one little suggestion. x squared divided by x to the power of half. When you divide, you subtract indices. So you've got 2 minus a half, and 2 minus a half is 1 and a half. And we write that as 3 over 2. Let's not lose that minus 2 there. So this is f dash x. Therefore, f x is going to be this integrated. And we integrate it with respect to x. So strictly speaking, the examiner should see all of that. Integrating with respect to x. So let's have a go at that. When we integrate, we raise this power by 1. And if you raise minus half by 1, you'll get plus a half. And divide by that new power. If you raise that by one power, it'll go up to being 5 over 2, raising that by one whole power, and divide by that new power. If you integrate 2, you get 2x. We have talked about that earlier. The x just comes out of the thin air and goes like that. Don't let's forget the constant of integration. Always simplify. Arguably, you could do this so many different ways. I'm going to say I've got to multiply the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. So, in fact, I'll get that. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to multiply the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. And the 5s will cancel. So, it'll tidy up and become that. Now... Because we're told that it passes through this point, in other words, we're told that when x equals 1, y equals 3, because we're told that piece of information, we can actually work out this value of c. So the function is y equals the function, so we can actually write that as y equals. Let's substitute that 3 for y. Let's put the 1 in there. So 1 raised to any power is going to still be 1, so that's 6 times 1. 1 raised to power any 1. Say it slowly. 
1 raised to any power is always 1, so it's 2 times 1. And that's going to be 2 times 1 again. And that cancels, subtract 6. So you can find that C is in fact minus 3. So we've now got our final equation nice and tidied up. And we even know what C is. So there we have it. We can mark that, can't we? Let's see what marks we get for that. Well, there's one mark for messing about and tidying it up and getting that and getting that. And then one mark for each of the integrations. And then one mark for working out the value of C. And then one mark for putting the whole thing down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven marks altogether. A question. Not necessarily split exactly like that, but it gives you some sort of idea. Well, that was question nine from the first paper, practice paper, for call one. If you want to see the whole of the answers worked out for practice paper one and practice paper two and three, in fact, the first set of papers from call one, then you'll need to visit www.masstutor.biz where you'll get all the information about all the available DVDs.